Hi, I'm Molly. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the DMI A3232 card and the Digico A168 stage box available for your S-series console. With the launch of the Fourier 4, Four, we introduced some new stage boxes and a new audio protocol, A3232. A3232 allows 32 channels of audio to be sent bi-directionally down a single Ethernet cable and more importantly means that your S-series console can connect to our A168 stage racks. Each connection can be run up to 100 meters away. If you are going to be using long distances, make sure that you're using tall quality STP Cat5e or Cat6 cabling. Each of these stage boxes has 16 inputs and 8 outputs. They are designed as floor boxes with rugged rubber bumpers, but rack mount kits are available if you prefer to install them into a rack. The Stage 48 system is a bundle available right now from your local Digico vendor. This includes an S-Series console, a DMI A3232 and three A168 stage boxes. This means 48 inputs and 24 outputs placed anywhere around your venue. Now let's take a look at how to set up a Stage 48 system. First, install the DMI A3232 into the back of your console while it is switched off. Next, set the A16-8s into their appropriate mode. The A16-8s have two modes that they can run in. Redundant mode allows one A16-8 to be connected to the DMI A3232 with redundant cabling. Cascade mode allows up to four A16-8s to be connected to a single DMI card by daisy chaining the units together. Today I'm connecting three A16-8s to the card, so I'll set the switch on each A16-8 to cascade. Now Connect port 1 on the DMI A3232 to port 1 of the first rack. Always connect to port 1 first. Notice how the rack activates and is discovered automatically. Now plug port 2 of this A16-8 into port 1 on the second A16-8. For the third A16-8, connect port 2 of the A3232 card to port 1 on the rack and your connections are now complete. Lastly, let's navigate to the input routing page on the console. The A16-8 will appear on the appropriate DMI card slot labelled A16-8. Select either port A or port B and select the desired input signal to patch into your selected channel. If using the DMI card in redundant mode, Activate redundant in the port control mode and make sure that the A16-8 box is also switched to redundant mode. This utilises both A3232 Ethercon ports. Now that we're all connected, we have control over phantom power, a 20 dB pad and the analog gain from plus 5 dB to plus 60 dB of every input on all connected racks. There is also an option in the Preferences menu that will automatically update connected A16-8 boxes when new firmware is available. This update will take place as soon as you plug in your A16-8. So that's it. It's really that simple to set up the Stage 48 system. Contact your local Digico vendor for more information on how to get your hands on one. If you're watching this video live and have any questions, I will be active in the comments section to answer them. Thanks for listening and check out the Digico YouTube channel for more videos on S-Series and SD consoles.